That's what she says, but every time I'm up there, where is it? Yeah, I'd like to welcome yeah. everyone to the Wilton Community School District Order. Board meeting September 11, 2019. The mission of the Wilton Community School District is to provide an education that encourages continual progress through the improvement of one's abilities, the expansion of one's interests and knowledge, and the growth of one's character. Joy, please call to order roll call. Linda Duncan. Here. Tony Hurd. Gary Mauer. Here. Rob Mester. Here. Here. Thank you, Joy. Agenda approval. Any additions, changes, or corrections, Mr. Burnett? None. All right. Moving through the agenda. Second. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Minutes approval. We'll do the August 14th regular reading first, please. Move to approve the minutes from the August 14th regular board meeting. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And then secondly, the August 28th work session. Move to approve the minutes from the work session. Second. Second. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. No public forum. We will move right on to business. Financial functions, please, Stacy. Yeah, all my Something's changed in our uh, network and our computers over here. We had the same problem last night. Sure. From my office, I could see everything. <laughs> over here, oh, here, can you see it? Yeah, because it's not a good thing. No, it's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see everything mm -hmm. in my office. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, taxation fund reports, upload number four, um, general fund. Notice that we have an increased interest rate in all of our community bank accounts, which are making them more comparable to ICEJET, so we've moved a lot of funds back to community bank. Okay. Um, and Central Bank of DeWitt had a CD special that community bank could not match, so that's where we have the rest of our revenue bonds. So we have the 3% CDs for the next year. They've been very accommodating. Yes, up in the general fund, between general fund and Pebble, last month we, um, we have a lot of projects we're doing in Pebble right now. And since we bought the bus, um, we're running short in Pebble until we get our big tax draws this month and next month. So you can see that there's an inner fund loan receivable from Pebble for the amount of the bills from the month of uh, August, and then there's a payable in the Pebble. So general fund is basically loaning Pebble money right now, and we'll pay, Pebble will have to pay interest on the general fund. To get those tax draws. Pretty much all I have to point out on the taxation fund reports. Um, I guess the other thing would be um, Bankers Trust has ch changed their bond section to UMB, and the reporting and the way they're doing things is a little different. I'm trying to keep up. Um, so we, our bond surplus interest account that they used to keep separate, they sent us a check, so that's now sitting in our debt service account. So you don't see that um, separately anymore, the interest account that we had prior. So I zeroed that out, and that's actually in our local bank account now. And then um, they usually sweep all the interest out of the accounts, and they're not doing that right now either, so you see all those odd amounts in our debt reserve fund that we have to have there in case we have a shortfall of revenue bond, uh, money to pay our revenue bonds. That's supposed to be $4.99, but there's interest in there right now, so I'm trying to get that all worked out with them. But that stuff jumps out at me. It might not you guys, because you don't deal with it all the time, but we're working that out. So any questions on any of the taxation funds? ISP is next, and not a lot of taxes yet this year um, at the top, and then we have our budget um, that was presented and approved by the board last spring, and then what we've spent here today at the bottom of the first page and what is left for the year. And this 
second page. Any questions on the ISP? This is the self-insurance fund. So July and August are our small months for the self-insurance fund, getting money from the general fund, and our large months for dental and vision clinics because the vast majority of our employees go to the dentist and the um, eye doctor over the summer. So we have a lot of claims. Um, in July and August, and a little income, and that will start picking up here in September. But as you can see by the fund breakdown in the lower left-hand corner, we're still doing well even in spite of that. <coughs> Any questions on the self-insurance fund? Next is latchkey. Uh, usage at the top, so ending the um, summer program at the top. Overall, it looks like the numbers went down, but that was in casual usage only. So actually, the whole week's actually went up there in the last month. And then you can see what your school year program numbers were starting um, when school started in August there. So that fund continues to be holding its own. And uh, actually, the balance is already bigger than it was July 1st. Any questions or comments on the last week on? The next report is how they spent their money in August in addition to payroll. Short and sweet. Upload number nine, nutrition fund. So we have the August usage at the top of the report for the school year lunch program and breakfast program. And once again, Latchkey is not using the nutrition fund program. Now we have financials on the second page. So the aim is to get that balance down a little bit this year and the state did not, as you remember, make its increase lunch prices by the mandatory 10 cents. So um, and she's purchased some things for the program. Any questions or comments on nutrition fund? The next report is, again, the period of the report for how uh, money was spent in August in addition to payroll. A lot of student supply purchases to start the school year. Then the activity fund report, which is on the first page of upload to number 11. You can see at the top, musical drama. They have been um, ordered some things in July, so that's a negative carryover from them. And they're in full swing right now, getting all that organized. Um, show choir, um, they ordered some stuff, and we just got the Townsend donation after September 1st, so um, there's a chunk of money that will go in to cover that. But you won't see that till the September report. And then in uh, athletics, um, summer canteen was closed out and rolled into softball, baseball. And they both earned a little over $7,000 profit from summer canteens, so over $14,000 in the whole, you know, in its entirety for the two. And all that goes into after Terry's paid for supervising and all the supplies are paid. That's what they got, so that's a big money maker for them. That's why baseball, softball have sizable amounts there. does the accounting for, but we do not technically own the money. Any questions on any of those funds? And all the period vendor reports, all the period vendor reports um, are attached. Upload number 13, Coker Blue Driving. So, start across country volleyball and football. And then, of course,
course, drivers have some required meetings before school starts and they bring their buses up to open house. Any questions or comments on co-curricular driving? Extra payroll, anything that's not on a contract that's submitted to me for payment is put on this report, two pages <coughs> this month. Standard stuff um, at the top, and then the junior senior associates had their NVCI training uh, refresher course before school started. And, um, and they also had some meetings with special ed teachers and such they got paid for. New this year, uh, approved by teacher quality funding, is the kindergarten visits. So the teacher, kindergarten teachers send out um, a letter to every parent and offer a home visit prior to the start of school. And so the parents that uh, took them up on it, they did that and they got paid through TQ to do that. And Lisa Burmeister had almost her entire class went home visit visits. The others, not so much. So that's why her amount is much higher. Any questions on any of the extra payroll for September? And then the board bills, which are quite large again, 12 pages. And there are numerous general fund bills. Insurance company payment of twelve thousand four ninety six is actually a quarterly payment, um, and then the final claim to serve pro for cleaning our office after the water damage this summer, and then we have various uh, payments wrapping up some of the summer projects in Fund Thirty Three. for the multi-purpose building for Fund 34 has been spent as of these board bills and the balance we're taking out of uh, one cent sales tax out of Fund 33. And there was a large expense in Pebble um, for the bus number 45, which is our smaller capacity special education bus with the lift. It would not have passed inspection had to have a lot of body work done. And then the debt service Piper Jaffrey just sent one invoice for fiscal year 18 and 19 in fiscal year 20 for their uh, consulting fees for all the escrow accounts and um, the work that they did for us for the GL bond surplus. Any questions on any of the general fund bills or any of the others? Those in favor should indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Alright. Thank you, Ms. Stacy. We will move on to administrative reports. This is Austin Elementary. Please. Um, <coughs> Our PD day is coming up Monday. 
Um, we had Kim Nelson back to do her final full group training, empowering instruction, and I kind of listed there what that's about. So it'll be good to kind of actually put some of that leadership stuff to instruction. Um, <coughs> we celebrate Constitution Day on the 17th as required by law. The last thing really probably is the whole Leader Me updates. We had our Student Lighthouse team meeting today, and they're all excited. They plan all of our celebrations. And they decided today they wanted to take part in that. Maybe you've seen that um, start with the law. It's kind of a Sandy Hook, um, including kids. So they've got all kinds of ideas and posters. And so it's fun to see them take some of those leadership roles. <coughs> the other uh, thing that I want to include in our report is the long range goals. We thought we would go over it as an administrative team every year in September and every year at the end of June. Mm -hmm. We put that together. Gosh, it's been two years already now when we started that our review cycle mm -hmm. where we're at. I have five mm -hmm. Well, they are in there. Are they in there? I didn't get the joy out of them. They're a couple. They're a couple. Yeah, it's just fine. They're on the next. They're on the next team. They're on the next team. After you are. Right. So you know where they are. Yep. And after really, of course, um, in blue for the elementary. We just address our plan for reading, math, science, um, and feeling safe and connected, technology and feeling safe and connected at school. And then the in parentheses, if you remember, we a lot of things, of course, are ongoing. So we code them with the, the plan, the P, the D is due, the A is analyzed, and the R is revised. Um, really, as we go, we talk a lot about most of those things. Reading is a big year for us. We started writing, and we are still waiting on the completion of our reading, our new reading series to get here. But that's a big undertaking, and uh, I think eventually that will really help our reading achievement. The rest of the yeah, no. Are there any questions? I, you know what? We really spent some time a couple years ago kicking this around and mm -hmm. back and forth, and I think this really came out to be a, a positive document. So that was board driven and also administrative work. So I just think it's healthy to start the year looking at it. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the year. Yeah. So. so that's how we're going to address each of the goals. And that's our plan. Any questions? Not Have we taken any goals off since we started this document? Um, Yes, but I don't know which ones. No, that's, that's I would have to compare the documents. Um, when we get a, a lot of the changes we've made, like for our map, we changed our whole map thing. So what we did have on the map, we've switched to sure. a lot of these model teachers leading the whole map and aligning mm -hmm. the whole mathematics thing with the IO core and with all those who really achieve the core recommendations. So what it, before it was more IO core. Achieve the core. Um, I think for our goal five, all students will feel safe and connected at school. We used to do, we didn't really have any um, direction, and I can't remember what we had there. But now we've replaced that all with the leader me stuff. True. But it used to be more about my guidance lessons and things like that. So it's more of an updating as we bring in new things, we get rid of the old one. So he, or probably could, but he's only going to come in and we can talk about some things at different meetings. But he asked me to share that the multi purpose building, they they hung the, a lot of the heaters today or started that today. So that's progress. It's kind of been dormant for the last few weeks, and uh, we're waiting on contractors to come in and do that. So that was all started today. So that's a good step in the right direction. And then um, next week, we hope to start the lighting part. And then we have to have the turf, the turf people come back in to push turf and we stretch everything. And then we all, then the next step will be to bring the netting company, sports, uh, the sports management company in. We need to remeasure all the netting because they changed how the heaters are going to hang out. So we need to have them come in and remeasure and give us a new estimate and then get that second estimate for you to approve. And then at that point it should be functional. They're still going to need to finish off the bathrooms and those kinds of things. But 
I guess our goal is still, you know, by the time snow flies, but we're kind of at the mercy of contracting right now, so any lag in any of those steps is going to set us back. So I'm not going to, you know, guarantee that we're going to be ready to go, but we're certainly trying to do the best we can with that. So he asked me to share that tonight as far as uh, any questions about the building? As far as my report, again, I included the 2019-20 district one ranked goals. Um, our building is in the black after the elementary. As far as reading, math, and science, um, you know, language arts, we have that in ninth grade. You know, I know Mrs. Hetzel usually shares that data. We got a little bit derailed by that with going to ISASPA testing, because normally we can, you know, give the assessment, have the results back by the end of the year, and we're good. But now, we gave the, the ISASPA last April, we still don't have the results back. So, it's kind of a norming period, baseline collecting period, so we're hoping to get that on track, but it's just, it's going to look a little bit different as far as data collection. And then we have the reading, uh, reading and math labs there for both junior high. Um, we've updated our materials as they're on the cycle. AIW is a big part of that. We added coaching this year. Uh, four of us are going to get um, the SIP training tomorrow, which is the implementation walkthrough uh, training. And then credit recovery, we talked about that earlier with Ingenuity, adding those options for, uh, for credit recovery. So uh, basically, if you look there, reading math and science follow that format per se. Um, with science, you know, there's a little bit with like the STEM innovator class, and there's a little bit of tweaks as you look through that. Uh, Gold Force Technology, we did hire that tech integrationist, um, and that's an ongoing process with that. All students are, have Chromebooks over 1 to 1, 7 12. And then, as far as the connected to school, uh, we teach dig digital citizenship. We have the Pyramid of Interventions. Um, again, AIW is our PD focus. We gave the IOU survey last year. We uh, have just got that data back at the end of the school year. So, uh, I know Mr. Vecchi and I have sifted through a lot of that. We've already put some of that into practice. We need to continue to uh, kind of break that down. And then we had Mike Donahue here in the last two years focusing on culture and those kinds of things. So um, again, I'm not going to read all the goals, but you can kind of see how they relate from the different areas there. Any questions on goals? And then I'll just highlight one more thing on my report. <coughs> Anything with that? Okay. Uh, September 16th, which is next Monday, we have a full day of professional development. And our staff from 8 to 11 will be doing the ACES training which is basically helping them, equipping them with uh, training and tools to deal with or to help trauma-sensitive type uh, situations, at-risk uh, situations with students. So um, that'll be good in the afternoon. We're going to do some uh, suicide training, which is mandatory now. So this is coming apart because uh, it's mandatory by the state. So we're, that's our plan for uh, Monday. Then we have to finish up our individual uh, professional development plan Follows things like that. So we get that they all jam packed full of learning. So, any questions about anything else in my report? You mentioned the bond donation. Yeah, yeah. So, last, it's, it's been about two weeks. So, Allison Pearson came to me um, and said that Han is looking to donate some uh, basically teacher desks and filing cabinets to the district. And so, I had her get up in front of the staff and kind of talk a little bit about, she had some graphics and some pictures, and basically we set up a Google Doc, and if anyone was interested, they signed up. And so then we had, so we had the sign up all done, and so we had, I think we had, I don't know, 20 some teacher desks, and there was both two drawer and four drawer. And um, then we had a bunch of filing cabinets that are actually going to the central office, and maybe they're already back in that room, so. Files have to be moved, so I don't know. They ended up down there, but they're, it's a work in progress. So last Saturday morning, the semi showed up, and Allison's dad is a truck driver, so he had Saturday off, so that was the day that we had to accept it. So we had a few students here and a few staff, and we unloaded an entire semi full of uh, dust and filing cabinets. And it was 100% donated uh, by Han. Uh, Allison's husband runs like three or four lines at uh, Han. So he made that connection with us. Okay. And so she's putting a video together right now that said, she said it'd be done probably next week that we'll probably put out there. And it's, it's basically our thank you to them. Mm -hmm. and, but we're doing it kind of in a video form and just sending a note. So I guess she's a tech integrationist. 
That's how Sean's organized it. So, Pond's been really good to us. Yeah. I mean, we got some tables donated and chairs and desks a few years ago, too. Open elementary. Yeah, very, very well spread. Yes. There's nothing under one. Correct. All right. I pulled a couple of <coughs> policies off consent agenda number two and put them as first readings on consent agenda number three. Mm -hmm. uh, what I do each month is I read these and I, you know, send them to different people that work specifically with that and needed to update our instruction like PSEO. Um, and then our credit recovery courses, et cetera. So that's why those are pulled out. Uh, that being said, I didn't see any tweaks that were needed on the remaining ones. But again, as always, you know, that's a board decision, but um, D and E on consent agenda number three were the two that needed some additions. So I we just placed them there. Specifically on that. Yeah. So, looking at policy 604.4, yeah. program for talented and gifted give give students, who re the board recognizes some students require programming beyond regular education programs. The board shall identify the students with special abilities and provide education program. Should that really be the board is identifying? No. It's kind of. Just like, like it, just like when it puts me no, in a lot of those things, and the board in a lot of those things is a generalization that the board right. will hire, especially like a tag teacher, right. that will be the right arm of the board. But and does we could easily change that. The it, so yeah, it's definitely. solely up to you. You're right, though. We, to my recollection, the board does not come in and identify tag <laughs> students individually. No, we do not. Did I miss a memo? No, no. We, I've never we, but basically, again, that's what <coughs> I see it, that verbiage in there being that the board hires and sure. you know keeps someone employed to do that. But it can be changed if the board wants to do that. It's just a, it's a semantic. I don't. Yep. No, that's that's great. We, I, we're always trying to update our semantics. Does that sentence even need to be there about the board shell? Because I'm going to say that you will... You can delete it. I don't know. I'm just no, taking it out. You said district shall identify students. That'd be, that'd be, that'd yeah, be fine, too. Yeah. Yeah. Joy, will you make note that we'll change that to... I don't know. Do you want to say the district only? I think that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of people's responsibility. Exactly. It's up to the district. That includes the board, the administration, the teachers. Yep. And we will add that as the second reading next month before it becomes effective. <laughs> Anything else under the post? that reflects what our discussion was regarding the policy, the, um, yeah, policy. Yeah, I move to approve consent agenda number two, uh, except pulling out 604.4 uh, for the changes that were noted that we approved next, next meeting. Second. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right, consent agenda number three. Very good, coming down the hall.
long stretch uh, letter A is our annual reconsideration committee assignment for 2019-2020 that's put in place if in fact there's uh, a parent or group of parents or any individuals who want to have uh, curriculum questioned. You know, it hasn't been used for a number of years but uh, a little history we decided a long time ago it's good to have that committee in place prior to anything being questioned because it doesn't look like it's a I would say a stack deck, if you will, toward X, Y, or Z. Here's our committee, here's what we pull from if we need it. So you can see who's on that committee. Letter B, surprisingly, we're talking about early graduation. So we have four students, I believe, on there uh, that, have, that will qualify and uh, like to graduate in January. Letter C, um, is a donation from the Townsend Foundation. Uh, 2.654 million to go toward a new commons on the south end of the junior senior high. So we're extremely excited and uh, humbled by uh, the Herbert Townsend Foundation and we will get started on that project immediately in terms of putting together uh, work with our architect and also with point builders. You have to look for contracts uh, in front of the board next month in October. And the ultimate goal is to get a shovel in the ground uh, late May, early June, and looking at a year to complete that project. So the goal is to have that facility functioning by August of 2021. Yeah, this has been talked about for some time, and and everything's kind of culminated to this, so it's a it's a big deal. Yes, definitely. Yes. So that's the letter, and uh, I will keep the board and uh, the public informed as uh, the plan starts to roll out. D and E, uh, letter D is the first reading of six hundred four point seven instruction at the post-secondary level and let's see you can see what was struck there it was basically just the last paragraph ironically about talented and gifted students we don't do that we don't have they're not charged that mr snively can they take one course or sophomore year is that right what you do now well, if they're if they're taking yeah if they're a talented student gifted student but um but so we just took that out again, didn't reflect current practice. Not a major change, but that's what it is. Anyone want to add to that one? There's a lot of the charging I did just. Yep, you can see there's two pages of that, okay? So you can see the, the second page of that. You can see they're allowed to take one course during the second semester of sophomore year. And you can see the bold uh, lettering there at the bottom of that paragraph, the middle paragraph, if a student receives a D or an F in a PSE over a post-secondary course, he or she's no longer allowed to take courses at the post-secondary level. Again, the district stuck with that mm -hmm. cost. Yeah. So, but at the same time, we expect students taking level, we mm -hmm. level to be our advanced students, so they should have been passed. So those are the changes on 604.7. On 604.11, that's our credit recovery courses. You can see we added edge annuity, and um, you can see the percentage there. Uh, it's a 60% pass rate versus 80%. Um, I don't know where the 80% came from in the past. Joy, do you have any? I think that was just a number that was in there. Um, and unfortunately, we had, didn't have a lot of students taking our uh, summer re or, you know, credit recovery. Uh, we paid for the service, but kids didn't do it. I think with ingenuity, we'll get a lot more that take advantage of that. Like I said, we had nine, six classes passed, but we can set those ingenuity percentages at whatever we want, but we just kind of matched up with our grading scale as far as passing. And those mm -hmm. students already failed in the classroom, so we're trying to help mm -hmm. make them successful. Mm -hmm. but, you know, not give them a free pass or anything no. like that, but, no. you know, try to be fair with them, I guess. Correct. Yeah. Do you want to have the program specifically in the policy? Does it need to be? Well, you know, it's interesting. 
I, I thought that too as you know we were talking about this. Um, do you really need that? Do you want that second bullet in there? You know, in terms of ingenuity and also the, the passing rate. If, a pro, if you have a, let's say, a generic program's name, there might be a different percentage rate for what they consider pass-fail to. I don't know. But this is what we do now. Mm -hmm. This right. reflects practice. But this so, just started. No, I mean, correct. this summer. So we've had this in place for so a long time. So I understand what you're saying, but obviously this is what mm -hmm. we are doing. But you're right. We may have to address it. No net was in there before. Oh, so no net was in there before. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I feel like we're going to be with Edgenuity for a while. It's a really good program, but you know, Rob's right. If we do make a change, we need to come in here and correct. They could just make credit recovery program. Correct. With the aid of a credit recovery program. Yeah, you don't need the second bullet either, or the third, right? The first but bullet just says. Train, we set it in that train. So we have to go in and mark all the percentages on one of the setups. Totally up the board. Yeah. I, well, I mean, I, we can live I with think that. it's a bad thing to have something in there as a marker because you know, obviously if you don't get 60%, you're not going to get credit, right? Right. Just spell that out. And it's specific to edge annuity. Right. 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 That's one reason I would suggest maybe leaving it. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have for letter E. So that's consent agenda number three. Motion to approve consent agenda number three. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Number 10, we're splitting an assistant junior high football contract. Uh, the good news is we have enough boys out again to have a 7th, 8th grade team, which is awesome. <laughs> As a former junior high coach and also junior high football parent, I, I really don't like having seventh graders and eighth graders, you know, competing against each other just from the physical size difference of the seventh grade boy versus an eighth grade boy. So um, we had an assistant and split that between the two there. One thing I will mention that I made a note of, I got an email today from uh, Department of Transportation with Max Christensen, all new buses that are sold in the state of Iowa moving forward will be required to have seatbelts. So any bus we purchase from here on out that's new. I figured they were going to come in. I didn't think they yep. would make us, because that was the big news yep. item. It's like, okay. Yeah, so that, that's moving forward with that. Okay. Um, Maintenance-wise, uh, just keep plugging ahead with everything that we're doing. It's just getting uh, these projects wrapped up. And, uh, as far as our outside and, and uh, whatnot. Anything on the pool board? The new diving board is in. Yep. Diving board's in and uh, still working on the whirlpool. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like yeah, our job is coming up on that. So we're out. Out. Yeah, we're trying to get it out. So, um, And we're installing a new pump. The, the pump is shot. So uh, glad as we're able to find something that would fit and work in the pool. So we have to do some replumbing and stuff. but. It's all stainless steel. It should be good for a long time again. So, excellent. Structural engineer Structural, is going yeah. to actually come and, and assess and yeah. look at the damage or what we know is kind of there, and then do a little more in depth of what we could fix and what we can't. So we'll get a report from. I don't know when for sure he's coming. But uh, pretty soon, yeah. I um, think so. Yeah, but uh, yeah, then we'll have a better idea what we need for maintenance. Right. Okay. So, so, which will help a lot. So. Swim lessons have started. And she's doing very well. Everything was good. Yeah. I think social media has helped. She's got a lot of, of Facebook and I'm sure Twitter and this. And then I just always share it too, just to get it out there. And I think that really helps. And they respond very quickly to things that are out there. So that helps too. So I think, yeah. I think we're doing. Yeah, I think we're doing well. Good. So, the only other thing would be when they do the new pump, that she'll have it on, oh, yes. on Facebook or social media, but uh, yeah. we'll have to bring the pool down a little bit. 
I don't just install the new pump just so the water from the pool doesn't flow into the, 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 the air. Yeah, it shut down, right? Yeah, it shut down for a couple days. Because we'll have to drain it, fill it back up, and it'll be a little chilly. Yeah, we take a while to warm up again, but it won't. Uh, they won't have to drain it all the way down. No, just, just part below the yeah. where the water goes water in. Goes in jets, out, yeah. It goes in and out. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I have nothing legislatively or anything or goodwill. Uh, I heard a lot of positive comments again about the tailgate, so thank you for putting that on this time. Thanks. Oh, well. Yeah. Food nutrition. Yes, for doing that. It's always good. It is. It's good to see everyone. Mm -hmm. Nomination papers for school board are due the 19th, which is a week from tomorrow. The election is on uh, Tuesday, November 5th. Our work session is Wednesday, September 25th, two weeks from tonight. And then our next regular board meeting is October 9th at 5.30. Next Wednesday night is uh, Ag Field Day. Looking for free meal. Yeah. Always looking. <laughs> I got two that night, so I don't know. Oh, no. I just would like to go out there and see what's going on. It is. It's a good chance to go out and just check it out. Yeah. So that's all I have. Are there any questions that you have as a group? Any comments? Anybody wants to share? If not? Thank you to the talents. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very important. We are blessed. Go to the journey. Second. All those in favor, please make a say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, everyone.